Alright, hey guys, Harsh here and welcome back to the channel. I am very happy today. See, according to me, in Apple's entire product portfolio, there is one product that is the most value for money. Most of you will guess it, it's the base Mac mini. You know, the 60,000 rupees computer with the M4 chipset and 16 GB unified memory. The value proposition of the base Mac mini is incredible. And that same value proposition is being carried over to the MacBook Air lineup. So this is the latest MacBook Air with the M4 chipset. And today, let's try to find an answer to the question. How is the base MacBook Air M4 in terms of performance? Should you go for the base variant or go for a higher variant? Let's try to find some answers. The MacBook Air lineup got a massive upgrade back in 2020 with Apple Silicon. MacBook Air M1 being the first of that. I bought the M1 MacBook Air on day one and I've been using it ever since. Basically, I took a huge bet on Apple Silicon and the claims that Apple were making. Luckily, that bet turned out to be amazing. For the longest time, I just used the M1 MacBook Air to edit all my videos. It could easily handle 4K video editing that to heavy projects. Then somewhere in between, I bought the Mac Mini as my main editing setup, but the MacBook Air M1 still remains as my primary laptop. But that is about to change with the M4 MacBook Air. So yeah, this one also has the M4 chipset. In fact, this is the base variant of the MacBook Air. So M4 chipset, 16 GB of infrared memory and 256 GB of internal storage. That last one, internal storage, you know, kind of hurts. But we'll get to that in just a bit. See, right off the bat, I want to start by talking about performance. See, performance with the MacBook Air M4 has been smooth, fast and no lags whatsoever. Opening multiple apps, multiple Safari tabs, listening to music while working, you can do everything and there is literally no lag whatsoever. So for things like Excel, PowerPoint, documents, surfing the internet, stock trading, etc. This laptop offers amazing performance for the price. And it can also easily handle heavy loads. Things like 4K video editing. I tried editing a couple of 4K projects on the MacBook Air M4 and the experience was very smooth. Now, one thing about video editing is that I use Final Cut Pro and for that, the performance has been amazing. Same goes for DaVinci Resolve. But I also feel the performance of video editing depends upon the project and the type of video edit as well. I edit my videos in a very basic way. There are not a lot of effects or transitions and things like that. If you do a lot of heavy video editing, with heavy files, transitions, text, and things like that, then you're probably better off with a MacBook Pro. But if you don't do all that stuff, then yes, the MacBook Air M4 has incredible performance for video editing. I hope you get my point. It offers similar performance to my M2 Pro Mac Mini, and that is a big statement. Obviously, for sustained loads, the M2 Pro Mac Mini and even the M4 Mac Mini is better because they have active cooling and this laptop has passive cooling. But see, the point that I'm trying to make is that performance with M4 has been incredible. And there's one more reason for such good performance that is the unified memory. 16 GB of unified memory in the base variant is a welcome upgrade. I think we all need to thank Apple intelligence for that. And while we're on that topic, yes, this laptop does support Apple intelligence and all the features that come along with it. And on that note itself, Apple intelligence is coming to English India in April. I will do a dedicated video about that, maybe a shorts or Instagram reel. So make sure you're following me everywhere because that is going to be super interesting. So I think I've conveyed my point that performance is great. What's not so great is the base storage. As I said, 256 GB of base storage, it is not enough. It is an SSD fast drive but it should have been at least 512 GB considering 2025 standards. And as soon as you try to upgrade, that's where the value proposition kind of vanishes away. Because that storage upgrade is very expensive. It would be way better to buy external drive. So I think that is kind of a trade-off with this laptop. Before we move forward, I have an important message that I keep making such straightforward and informative tech videos. So please subscribe to the channel and share this video with all your friends. Now, what else is new with this laptop? Yes, there is a new webcam with the M4 MacBook Air. This new webcam is supposed to be better in terms of quality and also has center stage, which will basically always keep you in the center of frame for video calls and things like that. I tried it, it works really well. This is a very quick video sample with the MacBook Air M4. This will give you an idea about the video quality as well as the microphone quality of this laptop if you were to use it for a video call. So let me know in the comment section down below, how does the microphone sound? Does it sound good or bad? And we'll also test center stage. See, it'll follow me, it'll try to keep me in the center, like it doesn't work the best, but it does work. Now, yesterday I was watching MKBH's review about this laptop and he noticed that the battery is ever so slightly bigger. I think the number that he said was 2%. So 2% bigger battery with the M4 MacBook Air. But regardless of that, battery life with this laptop has been nothing short of amazing. This has been one more advantage with Apple Silicon. Performance was one and the second was battery life. Even while doing heavy stuff like video editing, photo editing or whatever, the battery life won't drop that much. Like if this laptop is charged to 100% or even 90%, I am confident that I can complete my entire YouTube video editing and the battery will still be like 
like 20 or 30 percent less. That peace of mind is too good. And apart from that, this is very similar to the M3 MacBook Air itself. Same display with a notch, which is very good by the way. It's a 60 hertz LCD panel, which gets bright enough, so outer visibility is not a problem. The colors are accurate, content consumption experience is great, and viewing angles are amazing. The keyboard and trackpad are also same as last year. Very good typing experience. The keyboard is backlit as well, and the trackpad is super smooth. One of the best trackpads out there, if not the best. Ports are also the same as last year. There is MagSafe for charging two USB Type-C ports, which are also Thunderbolt and a headphone jack. One can connect a host of accessories to the USB Type-C port. And as far as displays go, this laptop can support up to two external 6K displays. And while doing that, its screen can also be on. So basically, you can have a triple monitor setup. If you're a stock market trader, then that would be useful. And there is a new color this time, which is called as Sky Blue. I saw that color in person and did not like it at all. It was a very pale blue and almost silver. That's why we went for Starlight. Starlight looks much better according to me. It has this kind of beige and gold color, which looks really classy. Now we come to the main point that is the price. The price is the main reason why the value proposition continues with the MacBook Air as well. The price for the MacBook Air M4 base variant is 99,900. I got it for 95,000 rupees after applying all the offers. And for that price, this laptop is a no brainer. For productivity, software development, professionals, video editors, photographers, everyone. Obviously it won't handle as heavy loads as maybe a MacBook Pro would. But in this slim lightweight form factor, the MacBook Air with M4 chipset managed to give very good performance. For most people out there, the performance is sufficient. Me and my wife are going to use it for productivity and video editing when we travel. So that should give you a good idea about the performance of MacBook Air M4. If you still have any questions about this laptop, feel free to ask them in the comment section down below and I will answer them. And as always, I will forget to add a link to this laptop in the description box below. So anyway, that's been it. These were my initial impressions about the M4 MacBook Air. Do let me know what do you feel about this video in the comment section down below. If you like what you saw, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel because that would mean the world to me. My name is Harsh Punjabi and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.